You guys ready? Everyone ready over there? Yes. Okay. Our next guest is uh, certainly uh, well remembered as the guitarist and principal songwriter for the band and uh, his new album, which, by the way, we listened to up in the office this afternoon. Terrific. Very enjoyable. Really very entertaining music. Uh, has been, uh, this, by the way, nominated for two Grammys. Well, don't take my word for it, for heaven's sakes. Looks has been nominated for awards. Uh, <laughs> the album is called Storyville. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the program Robbie Robertson. Uh, Robbie!
there. That sounded, that sounded great, and I think, was that the first time we've had choreography on the show for, the, for a was, musical act? It certainly was. Very yeah. exciting. You put down your instruments, and you guys just marched out while the song was playing. I enjoyed that. Very nice. Very exciting. <laughs> Paul, let me, let me, one note to you in the future. Well, I don't have a pencil to make a note with, but more choreography. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, congratulations on the new album. What, what was the name of the, of the one before this? It was just my name, the one before this. Yeah. Uh, and this one is, uh, you, has a lot of influence from New Orleans, was recorded in New Orleans, or you just spent some time down there writing music for the album? No, a lot of it was done down there. Yeah. That's what all this is about. The spirit of New Orleans has come to New York. It's a music... Uh, it's a place in itself. It's hard to remember that it's part of America when you go there because yeah. they're so independent in their music and their attitude and their food. and It's just wonderful, and I've been meaning to do this yeah. ever since I can remember. It, it was exciting for me the first couple of times I went down there. I've not spent much time in New Orleans, but when you go down there and you get away from the airport, you realize it is different than other cities around the United States, and, and that realization in and of itself is refreshing and exciting. There is... There is... <laughs> Thank you very much. Is this a question? It, it'll be in my textbook. Um, and how long did you spend down there? I spent down there, I was there off and on for over a year, but mm -hmm. I got to learn a whole bunch of things in this going back and forth. And music, to, to work with the brass bands of New Orleans mm -hmm. is an experience in itself. They don't have street gangs there, they have brass bands all the neighborhoods, and they duke it out with music. Right. I think there's a little lesson to be learned here for uh, the rest of the country, perhaps. So, no, wait a minute. There are no street gangs. It's all just bands of yeah. roving musicians. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, he got my clarinet! Get that son of a... Um, and the food? You must have just uh, gone nuts with the food. Yeah, Did well, you go to, to Cape Hall's, uh, uh, Paul Perdome's place? Well, yes, I've been to Cape Hall's. Yeah, it's, it's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. You know who, uh, we just had our anniversary show across the uh, street last weekend. I when I, you were doing Saturday Night Live, yes, I believe. Was. We were across the street, and uh, our musical guest was uh, your old friend Bob Dylan. Oh, wow. Yeah. It was uh, very exciting for us. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> We've spent a lot of time together over the years, and I think I understand what you mean by exciting. It was exciting. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, because there was some trepidation and some apprehension, but it turned out great and when it all sort of started to look like it was going to work everybody got really really uh, uh, very thrilled with it D give us a story here tell us something of, of your relationship with bob dylan over the years many many stories well this thing you had a whole lot of musicians playing with bob dylan that's right you? well bob when i first met him he played with nobody he was folk singer and when myself and the other guys in the band when we started playing with him we thought, well, this is an interesting experiment. We mix this music together with that music. We'll see what we get. And little did we know that we'd signed on for this tour, that we were going to tour America and the rest of the world, that everywhere that we went, they would boo us every night. I mean, violently boo us. <laughs> <laughs> and we just went from town to town. They'd boo us. We'd go to the next town. They'd boo us. And it thickened the skin, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now they were booing because they felt you were responsible from, from going from just acoustic to electric? Uh... These were die-hard folkies. Yeah. And they didn't want this electric business to yeah. happen. Yeah. So they blamed us, yes. Yeah. This, the, you know, I get booed here night after night yeah. as well. And I had nothing to do with Your that whole thing. Your skin looks yeah. pretty thick. Um, <laughs> two Grammys, congratulations. When are the big uh, Grammy Awards? The end of February. All right, right. well, good luck. I, I think this album is terrific, by the way. Thank you, sir. Nice to see you again. Again, Robbie, yeah. thanks for your time. Thanks. Robbie Robertson, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back.